What's good, y'all? It's Bull Ross back at again with another video. So we just finished checking out the live stream reactions for SmackDown, man. Even though SmackDown was a, uh, a pre-recorded, pre-taped, they uh, taped this episode of SmackDown last week. It was still some good stuff on here. I tried to stay off social media as much as possible to not be spoiled. And I'm glad I did because there was some really good entertaining stuff on here that definitely had me a little bit more hyped for Crown Jewel tomorrow. So we got to get to the nitty gritty, man. We got to talk about LA Knight, Roman Reigns promo segment. It had a, a nice little back and forth, more of a face-to-face -face situation. It wasn't them sitting at a table. It was more face-to-face I'm going to tell you how I feel. You tell me how you feel. And Roman pretty much was, you know, pretty much letting it be known that I've done so much in this industry. I've done so much in for the business, for the company. You know, he's building. I've made it a multi-billion dollar company. I, You know, I am what they call cinema. You know, I am the star of the show. And he basically like, what have you done? LA Knight, yeah, you got people to chant your name and, and know who you are, but what have you done lately? Honestly, you're just uh, a redneck version of my cousin. He's referring to The Rock, and he's had a lot of comparisons to The Rock, you know, and the way he delivers his promos and stuff like that. That has been uh, a lot of uh, somewhat, I guess you could say, the criticism that some people say he's like a rock clone. And I like that he brought that up. Got a couple oohs and ahs out of that or whatnot. Man, he made it very simple to him that when Crown Jewel, when it comes to Crown Jewel, all of this will be over. When I'm done with you, they won't be chanting your name. They won't be chanting for you. They won't be saying your little catchphrases. I'm going to smash you. And that's it. And it's it's what I expected from Roman. He, you know, shot him with the disrespect, like basically making it seem like you don't belong. And I love LA Knight's response. He's like, yeah, I know you, you're that guy. You're at the top of the mountain. You are the tribal chief, all this other great stuff. But I don't want you to take me like me. Cause when you do, guess what? I'm going to take that from you. I'm going to take everything from you. And he, I like how he went back to, if you're going to do something, don't just make don't make threats without actually falling through. Don't 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 give me a chance to to uh, call your bluff in a sense. Um, if you're gonna put me down, make sure you put me down for good. Don't just be saying it. You're gonna have to because if you don't, I'm definitely gonna come back. And I think that's a way, potentially, how to keep how to allow LA Knight to at some point maybe down the future get some type of rematch for the title i don't know if roman reigns will still be the champion or not but that's a way i sort of a out it's like you got to put me down if you do not put me down i will come back and i'll make you regret it so they're giving him that i'm not gonna give up you have to end me to make sure i don't come after you so it was a good segment and then after that officials get involved referees and nick aldis is in the ring trying to break things up because they start shoving each other and they talk in their trash and i liked it it was it was straight to the point i like um what you know la knight was saying i like what roman reigns was you know re um responding to with la knight basically looking at at him is like you're just a flash in the pan you're a rock wannabe i'm gonna take care of business like i've done with everybody else so it's going to be interesting to see how things play out. Most likely, Roman will win. The question is, how will he win? Will it be the same old referee bump and someone interfering? We'll see. I don't know. So, they also been hyping up Solo versus John Cena. Now, this is where things got really, really good. Solo comes out there, Paul Heyman, and... Paul Heyman's pretty much talking for Solo, as I expected. He's basically saying this is a goodbye, a farewell to John Cena. And we didn't want this to happen, but when John Cena came back, he came for the bloodline. That was his biggest mistake. And now he's going to pay for it. Solo asked Paul Heyman to give him the microphone. It's, it's, it's very shocking because Solo doesn't really talk like that. Paul Heyman gives him the mic. And he's like, yo, I don't know why you're explaining it to all these people. 
this supposed to be a face to face with me and John Cena. So John Cena, come on out here. John Cena music hit. Got the serious face going on. John Cena's serious face is always hilarious. Comes down to the ring. And Solo was like, look. The tribal chief told me on his orders that I'm to give you this microphone so you can say your farewell to the people for your very last time or whatever. So he gives him the mic. And that was the beginning of the end for Solo. The beginning of the end. As John Cena's talking, this is, it's, I've, I don't think I've ever seen this before. He's selling the effects of the Samoan spike. So he is essentially talking as if his, his vocal cords hurt, as if his throat hurt. So he's talking with a, like a raspiness, like he's hoarse. And it's crazy because he's really committed to it. He's like, uh, oh, Solo, you have no idea. You know what I'm saying? He's talking like that, but he's definitely serious. And he mentioned, he's like, my voices have gone, but I'm not going to need my full voice to cook you. It's only going to take me 90 seconds. And he was serious. He cooked them with half a voice in under 90 seconds. He sat up here and said, this is the first time you really say something. We've been waiting for you to say something, and this is what you have to say? I'm going to be honest with you. The only reason why you even here in the WWE, the only reason why you even made it this far is because of your cousin. And then he said you walking around like some big badass enforcer, like some tough guy, when really you're a, a bargain basement Taz. You're a bargain bin version of Taz. When I say I died, because he do look like a younger version of Taz and his mannerism, but calling someone a, a bargain basement version of it, a bargain bin version of Taz, he was cooked. He was cooked. He, it was done. It was over. I was, he, John Cena didn't have to put him in the oven. He didn't need to. He put this nigga in the air fryer and started cooking him for 90 seconds. Just done. And then he ended it off. He's like, hey, man, you want to make sure you grab on, you know, wrap that 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 thumb up real tight, real good. Because when I'm done with you tomorrow, I'm sticking it straight up your ass. <laughs> and he walked out the ring. He cooked him. Cooked this nigga, bro, with half a voice. <laughs> And then the 90 seconds, you put this nigga in the fryer, bro. The air fryer. Jeez. And like I said, I don't think I've ever seen anyone sell the Samoan spike effect like that. <laughs> to the point where he's talk, he can barely talk. That was that was a great segment. I love that. I'm looking forward to this match. I do think John Cena's still gonna win, but this was fun. This was fantastic, bro. John Cena. That's why you don't give this nigga a microphone, bro, because you're liable to get cooked. <laughs> John Cena is probably the one person I know that can cook someone on a promo without saying a word. Legitimately, like he could be mute and he, you'll, he'll find a way to put you in that cooking pot and cook you. <laughs> so there's another good segment. I was really surprised about this. That the way in between Logan Paul, Ray Mysterio. Now, they had security people there, some quote-unquote photographers, all this other stuff. It looked kind of hokey. Nick Aldis was in the middle. They had a scale. It looked, it looked kind of cheesy. I, I didn't really think it was necessary to have this. It, it looked fake. It didn't look like something serious. So I was already kind of like, yeah, this is kind of kind of lame. You know, they had them wait, you know, get on the scale. And uh, see their weight, and then they do the official face off, and and Logan Paul talking trash or whatever. But then things got great, just out of nowhere. The sticker Ray say, "Hey, I gotta tell you something. What's up? What? He slapped the dog piss out of Logan Paul, and then as everyone's trying to separate them, Logan Paul goes for a punch. He misses Ray." And he punches a random security guard that was there. He knocked him out. 
He just on the ground. So after that, Ray gets the microphone and he proceeds to bunk <laughs> Logan Paul on the top of the head with the microphone. He just boop. <laughs> and Logan Paul falls down and they separate Ray. And mind you, no one's checking on the poor security guard that's taking a nap on the on the way in floor right now. Logan's like, oh, that was a fantastic segment towards the end. I loved every bit of that. That was chef's kiss. Great, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, we ended up seeing Bianca versus uh, uh, Bailey. Um, Bianca ended up defeating Bailey as you know she should, and I'm glad finally Bianca embraced her rogueness. Um, Bailey was trying to uh, during the match put um Bianca through the table, but she wasn't able to, so all the stuff was removed off the table before they went off air. Bianca, after she's won the match, she's you know kind of celebrating the ring. Bailey's by the table, she picks up Bailey. And hits her with the KOD through the table. Fucking beautiful spot. I wish we see more of that. More of her being aggressive and attacking those that have tried to end her. So, but that was a cool way to end off the show. And overall, it was a pretty solid show. Pretty solid SmackDown. Some great things to enjoy, man. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the show. Uh, and also, let me know if this increased your excitement for... Um, crown jewel tomorrow let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel Roll to 150k and i'm still getting speed of youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace